and another good evening. This is uh, probably my last video that, uh, oh, at least for the time being, that is referencing this CZ97. This video, not so much um, in terms of the actual firearm as much as it is about springs. So uh, I jumped online and uh, did some searching and anyone who owns an AR is familiar with uh, either an oops kit a repair kit or or whatever uh, for all your components or you know even a lower uh, a lower kit uh, to build out your AR and when you look at what a lower kit costs I don't want to say like anywhere from 20 to $50 depending on who sells it when it's sold you know COVID has changed everything um, and then something like an oops kit which is your primary uh, springs and some of your uh, retainers slash uh, other components like a buffer pin, you know, $10, $7. My point being is this amount of springs and or accessories for your firearm is relatively inexpensive, all things considered. Even a, a full-blown lower parts kit, you know, 40 to 50 bucks. Again, depending on who makes it, where you get it, and all that good stuff. And you're not seeing, you know, some lifetime warranty. You don't know where this stuff is made. There's just no detail. But how many people have gone and purchased either an oops kit uh, or a lower parts kit from some manufacturer and, and, and run off and built their AR? Uh, I, would, I would guess to say lots. And, uh, um, you know, aside from maybe your um, trigger pin, your trigger firing uh, control group uh, putting a particular, uh, the orientation of the uh, spring in incorrectly, um, is more to do with problems than it is with the manufacturer or materials or source of origin for, for, for these particular kits, in my opinion. So suffice to say that uh, there are a gazillion of these kind of kits out there that people have used and used successfully and there have been no problem. The reason I, I bring this up is because I posted online asking, is anyone familiar with uh, a trigger spring kit for the CZ97? And I found a company that does uh, what I what I would call a reasonable kit at a reasonable price. And in my post, I said, you know, look, I'm, I'm looking for something comparable to this, only I need it for the 97 instead of the 75. And I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars at some high-end uh, tuning shop for not a high-end handgun. This is, uh, this is, you know, this is a commodity firearm. Uh, it's about an $800 gun. It's there's nothing special about it. It's a very cool gun very accurate gun and I like this gun But in terms of uh, uniqueness, there, there's nothing unique about this and there's certainly uh, Nothing in, in my checkbook that says or justifies spending hundreds of dollars for a trigger tune uh, Or changing the pull weight of uh, of that trigger. So uh, I posted that online and then got into some uh, colorful discussions with people and uh you know one one person said that uh oh you'll 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 spend you only want to spend 30 bucks on something that may save your life and my first thought was you don't know anything about me or how i use this this is a range toy so uh, in terms of home defense um this wouldn't be a home defense handgun i would have a throwaway handgun and by that i mean a commodity handgun that i don't care about that, that works perfectly fine and it would be unaltered so I would not be fine-tuning any type of, uh, of firearm and using that as my home defense weapon. Uh, me personally, that's, again, that's just me. So, you know, this person is making some interesting assumptions that, oh, you're, you're too cheap to spend hundreds of dollars uh, to potentially save your life for home defense. So you, you just connected home defense with, you know, wanting a lighter trigger pull. Um, the two don't necessarily go hand in hand. And spending hundreds of dollars on a gun that costs hundreds of dollars doesn't equate in my book so spending you know the equivalent of you know an AR spring kit for this particular weapon is kind of what I was looking for so uh, that that was the discussion so uh, I used some of the material I found and um, this was what I was using as a base so I am not promoting nor am I dissing any of these companies I'm using these companies and their products as examples of what I was looking for so uh, Macarbo uh, military carbine brotherhood puts out a kit, a spring kit, a spring trigger kit for the CZ 
75, not the CZ97. And this is essentially what I was looking for or what I was trying to find to make the CZ97 a little lighter on, on the trigger. And, you know, it's comparable to, you know, an oops kit, uh, similar. Uh, hammer spring, trigger return spring, uh, firing pin spring, uh, firing pin retaining um, uh, block or uh, rolled iron, uh, firing pin block spring, and an assembly tool, and then the sear spring. And these are basically just two different views of the same kit. Uh, they say that they're proudly made in the USA and they offer a 100% lifetime guarantee. And one of the interesting things was, you know, the person that was dissing me saying, you know, you only want to spend $30 to save your life on uh, something that's, uh, you know, who knows where it's made and how cheaply it's made. And again, my comment was kind of along the lines of, you know, these companies that make these kits, if these kits didn't work, the companies would be in some serious financial trouble because they'd probably get sued. Um, and, uh, and it would be very common knowledge in the firearm community that, hey, stay away from company X because their kit doesn't work. So, you know, I call BS on that particular uh, perspective that, uh, you know, the, the cost of the kit reflects the quality of the parts and, uh, and the, uh, the materials. I, I just, I, I do, I call BS because um, anything that's produced in mass quantities and put together as a kit gets economies of scales. Uh, or economies of scale doesn't necessarily mean it has to be produced in some third world country by uh, by somebody doing a, a hack job and then there's no warranty behind it. So, uh, for example, this kit by M Carbo is thirty dollars and uh, made in the USA and a lifetime uh, guarantee on parts replacement. So, um, I would not feel bad about buying this kit. Uh, it was suggested I reach out to a very big name when it comes to CZ aftermarket parts, and that's Cajun, Cajun Gunworks. So I did look on Cajun Gunworks site, and the first thing I saw <clears throat> was the e-conversion for the 97. And at $655 for an $800 gun, plus shipping each way, puts it at $800 for an $800 gun. That's not something I want to do. Uh, you know, if this was a $3,500 gun, maybe I would do a $700, $800 upgrade kit. Um, and then after further reading, um, it looks like there's more in this kit than I would actually need. And again, this is not bashing Cajun. This is using Cajun as an example of a high-end shop, just like Ed Brown uh, or Nighthawk Custom or uh, uh, what's another one? Uh, Wilson Combat that produce high-end stuff and you're going to pay you know if you, if you want to buy a ferrari you're going to pay for a ferrari price wise if you want to buy a toyota you're going to pay for a toyota so this is not a ferrari to me and uh, i'm not going to pay um, this kind of price for this amount of work and after reading this there's a lot that goes into uh people say cajunizing there's a lot that goes into making this into this e-conversion. So I'm not bashing this price. I'm just saying I'm not going to pay this price for the work that I want to do or the work that I want to have done. So after a little more research, um, they offer parts. So instead of sending Cajun the gun, and turnaround time is 10 weeks, so instead of sending Cajun the gun, you can order most of the parts that go into this package as part of the Pro Package for the 97. And the Pro Package includes more stuff than say what M Carbo does, um, especially for the trigger, the hammer, sear, and some other components, which add up to be money. Um, that kit alone is around three hundred ish dollars. And after further reading, if you want less parts, like you don't want the trigger, they offer a standard package, uh, which is even less both uh, parts-wise and cost-wise, and that's around $200. And now we're getting into, you know, what I would call a, a price range of my acceptability. Again, to each his own. Anybody who wants to spend whatever they want to spend, that is their own business. But what I don't like is when somebody tells me that unless I spend this amount of money, my level of home defense and safety and functionality is in jeopardy. And that's what I call BS over. Like I said... How many of these kits are floating out there? Hundreds of thousands that have been used. The kit, the lower parts kits, the oops kits. Um, and a company that produces a spring kit for $30, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I just, I, I need some springs. 
Um, and I'd love to change out the firing uh, pin retaining pin because apparently um, that particular pin, if you can see it, if the angle is right, is just a uh, uh, layered rolled, I'll call it rolled steel, whereas this is uh, a heavier duty version of that, uh, as is the one in uh, both of Cajun's kits. So uh, to me, Cajun is more high end than what I'm looking for uh, in price as well as components. Um, I would actually be looking for something even lighter than the standard package. So uh, I'm not necessarily, I don't care about replacing the hammer. I'm not interested in replacing the trigger um, or some of the other components as much as I am trying to do something with the uh, with just the spring. So um, even looking at trying to purchase all of these things individually from Cajun puts it significantly more than uh, what I'm uh, interested in spending at the moment. But my point was uh, the justification of spending a lot of money uh, or spending a particular amount of money on a particular firearm is what guarantees you reliability and success. And um, I, I won't agree with that or I won't, and, I, and I won't disagree with that uh, because I believe that sending uh, a firearm to any aftermarket customizer, you're, you're paying for the gunsmith's craftsmanship and expertise as well as the parts. So that price is probably uh, completely justifiable from a time and materials point of view. But from my point of view, for what this is and what I want it to be, they just don't align. So I wouldn't be spending, you know, the 655 plus shipping and handling both ways uh, to do something that I think could be done a lot more economically from my point of view with maybe uh, a different uh, parts kit. Again, range toy versus something that uh, um, I conduct business with. You know, if shooting was my livelihood in terms of my profession and how I earn my income, then... Uh, Having somebody do this kit for me at a price uh, that uh, represents the the labor as well as the parts, probably not an issue. But uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm not there for this particular firearm, and I'm not here, nor am I at the $200 range. So um, I'm uh, my comfort zone. You can call me cheap. You can call me whatever. Uh, my comfort zone is uh, not spending a whole lot of money for uh, some relatively... Uh, simple parts, um, and if I can find those simple parts from a manufacturer that uh, says they're made in the U.S. and they have a lifetime warranty, I'm good with that. So uh, that's kind of what, what this direction was, so we'll see where that takes us. But, um, you know, to equate the cost of parts with reliability, safety, and, uh, you know, the ability to defend myself uh, in, in a home defense situation, I thought was a, a little too far of a stretch and uh, too many assumptions being made for what I wanted to accomplish uh, and how much I wanted to spend. So that, uh, I would say that's this rant and um, uh, my search continues for, uh, you know, a, a moderately priced or um, maybe moderate isn't the right word. Maybe, maybe the, uh, Maybe the standard package is the moderate priced and uh, something I'm looking for is a little more economical. So uh, in any situation, um, you know, based on what I paid and, and what I do with this, um, I, I would like to find an appropriately uh, priced solution to try and uh, deliver on what I'm searching for. So that is it again for tonight. Take care, folks.